Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishop Spriggs and today we'll give up a draft booster box of Magic the Gathering's Kaldheim. I made sure I looked up like three or four times before I saw recording so that I said the name properly. I do know Time Spiral is currently out. We're looking to get a box or two of Time Spiral. Right now boxes are sitting around like 350. I'm not spending 350 on Time Spiral. So we have Kaldheim today, the, I guess, second set out, the current mainline set. Uh, Time Sprout is a reprint set. So the current main set, Kaldheim. So, a couple chase cards, and this looking for Valky. A couple other of the Mythics, and some extended arts definitely are in this set. But this is actually my first ever time opening up a booster box of Magic the Gathering. I've never opened a booster of Magic the Gathering. Not even any single packs of Magic the Gathering. Kind of just uh, buy singles and loose cards. So getting in the first pack right here. I'm like Pokemon, I'm not sure if there's a card trick when it comes to Magic the Gathering cards. So we have a nice Burb. Good old Burb token creature card right there. We have an Alpine Meadow dual land. We have a Vampire Dragon, Colossal Plow, Alright, Glimpse in the Cosmos, Sorcery, uh, Packmate, Priest of Haunted Edge, Ravenous Lindworm, uh, Infernal Pet, Good old God's Hall Guardian, A Null, uh, Rune Amok, Beskar Shieldmate, and there's that right there. No rare in this pack. Did I miss the rare? I might have uh, missed the rare. The rare was the uh, Emmerstrom Predator. So it looks like there is a card trick for these packs. Here. Let's try to figure it out. So it's what? Uh, you have your token. It's... I don't know. I don't know what that, um, I don't know. We'll figure out the card trick, hopefully, sooner rather than later. Right here, Demon Bolt, Mentor. Alright, Giant Ox. Always like good old Giant Ox right there. Uh, Warhorn Blast, an Elf Warrior, a Sulphurous Mire, Common Land, a Calamity uh, Bearer, right there, Giant Berserker. A 3 4 if giant source control deal damage to a permanent or play deals double the damage. Nice right there. Elven Bow, Weathered Runestone, and a Doomscar Titan. So, moving along slowly through this right here as we hope to hit a few Mythic Rares. I might miss a few. I do know Mythic Rares are. Let's see. The rare, and then there's two uncommons, I believe. Oh, no, there's three uncommons. There we go. A Doom Scourge right there. Nice alternate right there. The Avalanche Caller, Felix Liberator, Squash, Rune Ashore, Glittering Forest, a pet, Rune Amok, a Null. God's Hall Guardian, a Dwarf Berserker, a Snow-Covered Plains. Oh, the rare. Oh, okay, we got a hollow this one. Skull Raid. Nice Skull Raid hollow. And our rare is an artifact, a Cosmos Elixir. Look at that, so draw a card if your life total is greater than your starting life total. Otherwise, you gain two life. So definitely nice for some uh, life gain and card draw shenanigans right there with that card could definitely see a lot of use in commander or even in uh, standard play now you gotta think you probably wombo combo standard right there so you can play a full play set of those elixirs and the way they trigger a nice little uh, custom make your own little thing right there I'm not going to worry about the card trick. We have a snow covered mountain. Nice right there. And there we go. Our first 
right here, our first Mythic Rare and Extended Art Kaya, uh, the Inoxorable right there, Legendary Creature Planeswalker Kaya, nice Extended Art right there, Extended Art right there, because if you compare the two of these right here, see how this has a border right here, this one does not have a border, it's not full art since there is the text right there, but this is Extended Art right there, so a nice Mythic Rare pull right there. You'll love to see that. First ever Planeswalker pulled out of a pack. I guess that's what happens when you never open up packs of Magic the Gathering. We got this uh, nifty enchantment right there. Crush the Weak. Got this painful stroke. And just going to go through uh, the, un uh, I guess the commons. A little quicker since we just, uh, everyone's really here for the rares and uh, the uncommons. Definitely that's where the money is made in Magic the Gathering is the rares and uncommons. Got the answer. A couple uncommon commanders out there that are pretty mean. You know, I'm not much of a commander player personally. I've always ever really played standard, but I've been looking into different commanders recently. And there are some pretty mean commanders out there, if I do say so myself. From a total novice at playing Magic the Gathering. Welcome to the arena. Nice little. Right there. Snowcurred Swamp. The cool one. There we go. We have another Mythic Rare right here. That's going to be our uh, Essica God of the Tree. Nice right there. And you flip her over. And there you go. The Prismatic Bridge. Legendary Enchantment right there. You can flip over to a God. And the Enchantment. So back-to-back -back mythic rare pulls. I like all of the borders on these. These ones are nice right here. Centering appears to be pretty well on both sides, I want to say. Yeah, center seems pretty well right there for Essica, God of the Tree. Get to tab her for add any mana of any color. Legendary creatures control have vigilance and tap for one mana of any color. So nice right there. The uncommons are going to be this, a Invasion of Gi of the Giants. Nice right there. A Vengeful Reaper. I believe if I'm remembering correct, that's a uh, 4 or $5 uncommon. I could be thinking of the Valkyrie, though. I think I'm thinking of the Valkyrie as the uh, $5 uncommon. But as we struggle to... Open up packs. That's uh, the name of the game right here. If you don't want, if you don't struggle to open up packs, guys, honestly, you're not even doing it right. Zombie Berserker, Snow Covered Island. Ooh, there we go. Rune of uh, Sustenance. A foil. Uncommon right there. Rare is gonna be the Search of Greatness. Claritin Singa Rune Eyes, the Rune of Mortality, and back to the Comets. I should probably actually yeah, put those. Ah, oh, my, my sorting is not the greatest when it comes to sorting cards. For some reason, I started putting the Uncommons in with the Commons, so I definitely have to go through those later to pull. Uh, those, uh, we've done that a couple of times. I put the uncommons in there. But if you guys are new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. And hit the like button too as we do upload twice weekly content on the channel. So we got a nice little rare right here. And uh, it's going to be the Cowdering of Rimstaff. And he flips to Jorn, God of Winter. So a nice little rare right there. I like the mechanic for these flip mechanics. They're nice. I mean, it's definitely different for voting commanders. Definitely better on some than on others. Uh, crush the weak. And going through all the comments. Right there. So this does come with 36 packs in a draft booster box. Uh, later in the week, we will be opening up the Master Set Box. The other type of box you can get where it comes with a higher chance at uh, the Set Building Box. That's what it's called. Nice Foil Land right here. Double Land in this pack. Uh, the Cert Land Forced, uh, 
Frostpire. Nice. So they're tapped to add a fire, or you could tap two, a water, uh, two two uh, islands, and a mountain to sacrifice to uh, scry two. And it deals two damage to each creature. All right. That's, uh, that's a lot right there. Don't think it's worth it. Ooh, the Blood Sky, uh, the, yeah, Blood Sky Massacre right here. You guys can also get to watch my inability to read a ton right there, as, and I do struggle with the whole reading thing, which is kind of strange for the fact that I do have a pack opening channel that inquires me to do a lot of, well, reading. But we'll figure it out, guys, as we move along. The more we do this, the better we'll get at it. So, you know, we're only, only done a couple of pack openings so far. And channel's only been up for, I believe, four weeks now. This will be our fourth week. Oh, this is a ugly rip. We'll also get the whole pack rip thing down, too, the later we go. Nice one of these little dummies right here. You can use this card to represent double face cards. All right. A Snowland Island Mountain. Nice common right there. A, the Kraken, Icebreaker Kraken. The Blizzard Brawl. Oh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. The Land, though. Legendary Creature, Human Warrior. Uh, Maha, the Breasted Protector. And back into the comments. And we're just slowly but surely moving along through this dra uh, draft booster box as we are, I don't believe we're even close to the halfway point yet. We've only opened up uh, maybe eight packs. Good old treasure right here, good mechanic for treasure. A basic snow forest. There we go, we have a rare land tap to add white, a extended art land right here which you like to see right there that's what that's a very pretty land right there and you flip it over it's a double-sided land you can either tap it for a water or an island or a land to flip land so you can tap it for whatever you need right there very nice card right there very nice indeed that's what you like to see a set like this just uh the nice mechanics you can uh take advantage of so definitely still looking for our chase card which is Valky God of Lies as we continue through this break but uh, I think I think we might have bellied out though on our good hits though as of our very early in the break okay that's a nice burb welcome back burb okay, ice tunnel can tap for uh, island or swamp a uh, Necromancer right there for the rare. A nice Outrider. A Shadow. A Valkyrie Sword. And into the Comets. And just speed through the Commons because we don't need to read out every Common. Because at that point it just draws out the video. And gets super redundant after a while because... You start seeing all the same commons over and over again. Nice basic land. A Graven Lore. Nice uh, Narfi Betrayer King. Bloodline Pretender. Axe Guard Armory. Taps to add a, a plane. And going through all of the lovely commons right there. But definitely, guys, if you guys do like the Magic the Gathering content, definitely comment down below that you want us to see us open up more Magic the Gathering. I do, I am still trying to find out uh, what we, what this channel is going to be mainly for. Nice hollow uh, uncommon right here. And into the rare Legendary God. Flip that one over. And the Ring Art Crest. Uh, you can tap to add one forest spend mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type or, of or a legendary creature spell. Jeez, I I cannot read. So it seems like this is a very limited uh, card right here. 
kindly actually look at your cards, though, which is always a plus that you like to see. Uh, nice Frostpire. And back to the commons. Definitely would go through these commons more after uh, this video. Take a look, see what is in here to see what we can build decks out of. Because usually I like to build decks out of cards I know. And then uh, the more cards I look through, it's like, hey, that'd be a really cool... Oh boy, oh boy. We definitely just ruined like the rarest card in the set doing that. Uh, but definitely like to add cards through that way. Rare is going to be a Draconic Berserker. A Return Upon the Tide. A Elder Hall. Uh, Kaya's On Slot. Like, I was building a definitely not legal standard deck. You know, that 60 card format where we have Contamination in it, which is not a legal card in standard at all. But we've also paired that with um, uh, Fraxian Obliterator and just absolutely made the grossest deck possible when it comes to that. There we go. Nice Mythic Rare right here. Third Mythic Rare of uh, the box. It's going to be an Extended Art Quake Bringer. Creature Giant Berserker. Nice Mythic Rare. Not a flip card, just an Extended Art. Like your opponents can't gain a life at the beginning of your upkeep. Quakebringer deals 2 damage to each opponent. This way really triggers only if Quakebringer is on the battlefield or Quakebringer is in your graveyard. And you control a giant. So definitely some life manipulation right there. Uh, there we go for the uncommons. And I definitely always have been a... A green player when it comes to deck building you know just the big old big creatures punch them in the face but i was looking to do some i don't know just some shenanigan decks just some decks that kind of make you not want to play magic the gathering just doesn't let you play magic the gathering so the contamination deck is more or less just uh hey you can't play unless you're doing black right there Got a Mask of Vandal uh, Foil. Rare is going to be Cyclone Summoner. Uh, forging the ty Tyrite, Tyrite Sword. Uh, Giant's Amulet. Rune of Speed. I am speed. I am very fast. Uh, but, you know, Contamination prevents you from, you know, using your land. Every land taps for black and only black. So if you're running anything but black, good luck. Unless you're running... Um, Mana Rocks, but Mana Rocks, I mean, I guess can be common in standard decks. I, from my friends, playing with friends, you know, I've never really played people that have used Mana Rocks in just 60 card standard decks. The Raven's Warning, uh, that guy, the Protector, got a Demon Berserker, and another Ignorunize. Nice. So, second time we've seen her, at least. So. I wanted to do something that just kind of prevented you from playing Magic the Gathering. But we also paired that with Frax and Obliterator. So, Frax and Obliterator, if you guys don't know, it deals damage to it. The opponent who deals damage to that has to exile cards now have damage dealt to the Obliterator, which then prevents you from wanting to attack. For the land right there, we got a nice uh, Realm Eater. Good Legendary Wolf. Unfortunately, I don't have That would probably be a really cool extended art right there. Nice bear and a gates of Istel. All right, all right. The bear is trying to escape right there, but then we package that up. The our obliterator we package that up with uh, Skithrix, the Blight Dragon, to kind of see you off from attacking with flyers and cross space. So you ran through the obliterator, Skithrix, and cross space to kind of prevent you from. Uh, attacking. There we go. Best gear shield mate. Nice old growth troll right there. 4-4 four, four, trample for 3. Not bad right there. Got a door strike. Nice uh, ice ice shaper right there. Nice ice shaper. A draw helm. And then we've uh, also packaged that deck off with 
look into the abyss, where the opponent has to uh, lose half their life, half their deck, and it's always round up to the nearest number. So I, I forget exactly the what that card does for everything, like what's the whole ability, how it works. But then we packaged it with, we more or less just made a super gross deck that prevented you from playing Match the Gathering. That if this deck gets self, uh, set up, you just kind of, uh, kind of get forced to quit. You have to throw in the cards on that one. Uh, but the main, the main card that wasn't, the main card in that deck really wasn't even, uh, the big cards. It wasn't the Obliterator, it wasn't the Scytherix. Was the contamination? It was the. And I'm gonna draw a blank on the name. It's the Pied Piper card. It's like the. You tap it, and it can create rat tokens. Nice uh, color land right there for the rare. But you can uh, tap it to create rat tokens, and you uh, mix it with. Behind the scenes, I think the card's called. And it's creatures can be blocked by uh, creatures of equal power value that can't be blocked by higher power value. And if you create a bunch of 1-1 one, one rat tokens, you can only block them with 1-1s. One, so, you package that up with um, Wound Reflection. And you put a couple Wound Reflections out there, you know, do two, three wound reflections. You're adding up a bunch of damage really quickly right there. And you can more or less, you know, you know one turn kill someone when that deck is fully set up. Because uh, it is not a friendly deck for those who don't know what they're doing. There we go. We have an, a god right here. The uh, Turgid God of Fright. Legendary creature gone right there. Flip him over. And it's going to be the uh, Turgid's Lantern. Uh, tap, target player loses three life unless they sacrifice non-land permanent or discard a card. Uh, and tap three and a swamp to untap Turgid's Lantern. So it's got a pretty big mana cost right there for a discard card just to remove someone or just drain them of life, honestly. I mean, if you have the ability to untap your land, that could be a very good card right there. Um, but I don't know of any cards off the top of my head that allow you to ramp black right there. Especially since you can... You have to tap three. Nice bear. Everyone likes good old bears. Basic snow land. A battle of frost and fires of the rare. A ruined crown. A fall of the imposter. Rune of Flight for the Uncommons. But I do know in uh, Fort Forest, you can find multiple combos to give you unlimited land. Um, one of them is a Elf Druid that taps for, his, for your devotion to Forest is. And you put that with an enchantment, or an uh, enchantment equipment, I'm sorry, that allows you to untap. Uh, and retap, so you can really get um, unlimited land right there. World Tree, though, it's one of the better of the rares in this set. You can tap every color, two of every color, to sacrifice the World Tree. Search your library for uh, any number of god cards to put them on the battle, then shuffle your library. All right, good old World Tree card right there for those you guys who are running your god decks, your Egyptian god decks. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh now. Playing with all of these gods. I remember Ra, Slifer, and Obelisk the Tormentor. And then they said, hey, we really like that. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring them back, but we're going to make them like demons for the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series. Because they really liked the idea they had for the Egyptian god cards. That was the whole big spiel. Is that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! came from like the Egyptians and Seto Kaiba and the company. He, I guess his father, his stepfather created you know, brought dual monsters to life a oh, nice hollow rare right here cosmos charger and a double rare pack right there you like to see that a legendary creature going berserker 
last right there. Great Hall of Stanheim. We have a Rootless U. We have a uh, Harold, King of Skemfar. Everyone likes Harold. It's like Harold, but not quite Harold. But we are coming down to the last uh, handful of packs in this draft booster box right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this break. I do apologize for the not so great comment. I don't really know how to commentate or really talk about this stuff. There we go. We have a nice Maha uh, Protag Protector. I believe that's the second time we've pulled her. And there we go. That's going to be our fourth Mythic Rare. That's going to be the uh, Borklinex Monsters Raider. It's a uh, Phyraxian Predator. I, knew, I do know this card does have a Phyraxian alternate art card, which is a pretty mean looking card. So hopefully we can pull that card right there. But that's going to be our fourth Mythic Rare. Of uh, this box, which is uh, what you like to see, Hailstorm Valkyrie, which might be that uh, Valkyrie I was talking about earlier. That's a that's that five dollar on comp common, but definitely a lot of a lot of commons right here to build decks out. This is a draft booster box. You know, I said to the guy, bought this from uh, Conti's Card Castle. In, in New Jersey, so feel free to check them out. They do have, I believe they have a website, but definitely overpriced to say the least. Now he's a uh, nice uh, Falgaroth Blood Sky size. I can afford him. I walk in there, you know, just to do something during COVID. And he's uh, say, hey, you know, first time here. And like, yeah, I've been here once, but it's been a couple years. He goes, all right, cool. This is our stuff right here. By the way, it's a shop that's no bigger than your standard bathroom in a house. It's a tiny, tiny shop. You know, you more or less you can lay down and your, you know, your head touches one wall, your feet touches the other wall. So, I mean, you can, you can see everything in the shop. Reckless Cruise, the rare. And he goes, yeah, this is our cheap stuff right here in this cabinet. Uh, the cheapest thing in here is uh, $400. And that's just the baseball cards. Next cabinet over, he's got the Magic the Gathering cards. He goes, yeah, all the Magic the Gathering cards we keep on hand are uh, a minimum of uh, $100 each because, well, it's not worth keeping commons and uncommons. They're only worth, you know, a couple cents, especially if you have to pay someone to sit there and find them. Got a Blood in the Snow right there. Uh, destroy a creature, destroy a Planeswalkers. It's like a worse in Garrick's Wake. So... He had a binder of commanders, and there was like original Karn. And there goes, yeah, this is our commander binder. Uh, cheapest card in here is uh, $500 or something. Like, it was insane. Like, cheapest card in here is $500. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I, this is definitely outside of my price range. So if you guys are looking for uh, your more expensive cards, you have to check out Conti's Card Castle. Uh, but we are getting to the end of the break right here. We got a Doom Scar Hollow Rare and a uh, Agion God of Death. Flip him over, flip her over, and Throne of Death. Uh, two and a black for exile a creature card from your graveyard and draw a card. All right, not bad. All right there. Uh, we have a uh, Friar Judge of Valor, Legendary Creature, Angel Cleric, Flying Life Flank, not bad right there. Elf Cleric, and another Rune Speed. So definitely you can pick up a lot of those Rune Speeds right there. But I was asking him, say, hey, you know, I haven't done any Magic the Gathering in a while. What's the recent set? He goes, oh, we have uh, Caldine. And he goes, okay, I'll take a box. He goes, Okay, I'll open up. I go, no, 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 not, not a pack, like a box. I'll take the whole box. He goes, oh, okay, I'll give you a discount then, since I bought some Champion's Path Pokemon cards right there. Hey, you got a gold, uh, gold vein pick right there. Got a bunch of them, so it's cool to see, you know, foil of that. Uh, we have a foil. This is a foil. No, just a rare land. Rare, I don't know how I got that. Thought it was a foil for some reason. But Blightstep Pathway. 
uh, flips for a mountain and a swamp. So we got got the box for a discount, only a a crisp one twenty five on the box, which depending on where you go, it could be a slight overpayment, slight underpayment, because I do believe Blowout was selling Kaldheim for about one fifty. I think they've come down their prices recently uh, with the launch of Time Spiral, but I do believe they were up there at around 150 And some places also were selling it for cheaper than that, so depends where you go. But uh, Glorious prosecu Prosecutor? Protector. I have, a, I have a lawyer right here. The prosecutor. And uh, there we go. Coming to the end of this break, we have three packs left. Hoping to pull a fifth Mythic Rare. Maybe, maybe Valky, God of Lines. Preferably, it's my Ultimate Chase card. I mean, I'm not sure if he's even a good commander, but I want to build a commander deck out of him. There we go, it's the Rare on Common Land. And going through all oh, the commons right there. But definitely, I do want to say, I'm having a ton of fun doing this pack opening channel right here, guys. Guys, do you know I do have a sports gaming channel? Link will be in the description below. And there we go, guys. There is our fifth. Or, sorry, our fourth? Fourth. Fifth. No, fifth. Yeah, fifth. Fifth Mythic Rare? The Eradicator of Valkyrie. Which actually might be the Valkyrie I was talking about earlier. Uh, Flying Lifelink Hexproof from Planeswalkers. It's a nice Angel Berserker right there. That's going to be our fifth uh, Mythic Rare pull right there. Don't believe it's an alternate art for that one. If there was, that'd be a super sick alternate art, honestly. Uh, as we come to the end right here. But guys, definitely do like this content. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more content. We upload content every Monday and Friday. This should be coming out on Monday. So the next episode will be out. Or the next opening should be out on Friday. I think we are doing more Kaldheim going back than that for that some Pokemon. But again, I don't really know what we're doing with this channel yet. Not sure if we're just focusing on one specific type of card. And or we're going just to do multiples this you know, what I like to open. I don't really go with what's popular. Don't really go into what um you know. Only a sports channel, only a Max Gadget, only a Pokemon channel. So just do a bit of both, a bit of all of it. But if you guys do like sports gaming content, check out our other channel, The Franchise Guy. Link is in the description down below to upload daily content on that channel. And if you guys did like this, hit that like button. Comment down below uh, what you think of this opening, what we could do to improve on this channel. But until next time, YouTube, peace out, rock on. So, guys, have a great day, I guess.